The Wolf and the Seven Little Goats Once upon a time, a goat who had seven young children had to go into the forest to fetch some food. So she called the little goats and said, Dear children, I am going to the forest. Beware of the wolf. If it comes here, it will eat you. It may try to cheat you. But you will recognize it by its terrible voice and black paws. The little goats replied, Don't worry, mother. We will take care. After their mother left, there was a knock at the door. The Little Match Girl It was New Year's Eve in the cold and dark night. A poor little girl was walking through the streets. The little girl lost the slippers she was wearing. One slipper fell off somewhere. And a little boy ran away with the other. No one had bought any of the matches she carried with her in her worn out apron. Yes. Not a penny she had earned all day. She was hungry and cold. In all the windows, lights were shining. And there was a glorious smell of mm, roast goose out there in the street. was New Year's Eve. Her father would be very angry with her. She was scared of him. But what could she do? She sat down at a street corner and pulled out a map. A little match might do her good and warm her fingers. She drew out one. Match. She scratched it against the wall of the house. She sat, trying to keep away from the cold. The fire came to light. Ah, it was a warm, bright flame like a little candle. When she held her hands over it, it was a wonderful little light. It really seemed to the little girl as if she sat before a stove. The fire warmed her so well. went the flame. The stove was gone. She sat with the burnt match in her hand. She struck another. It burned. It gave a light. And where it shone on the wall, She could see through it into the room where a table stood. And the roast goose smoked gloriously, stuffed with apples and dried plums. It seemed to her that the goose hopped off the table and onto a plate just for her to eat. Then, as before, the match went out. And she felt the cold night again.
she lighted another match. Now she was sitting under a beautiful Christmas tree. Thousands of candles burned upon its green branches. But once again, just as she felt the picture getting real. The match went out. The Christmas lights went higher and higher. She saw that now they were stars in the sky. One of them fell and made a long line of fire. Oh, now someone is dying, said the little girl. For her old grandmother had said, When a star falls, a soul goes to heaven to meet God. She rubbed another match against the wall. It became bright again and in the light there stood her grandmother. Grandmother! cried the child. Oh, take me with you. I know you will go when the match is burned out. You will go away like the warm stove, the nice roast goose and the Christmas tree. And she rubbed the whole bundle of matches. And the matches burned with such a glow that it became brighter than the day. Her grandmother, with a smile, took the little girl up in her arms and both flew in the light so high, so high up where there was no cold nor hunger for they reached heaven and they were with God but down below on the ground against the wall of the house sat the little girl with red cheeks frozen to death on the last evening of the old year. People passing by stopped. Ah, oh, how sad, they said. Little did they know of what warmth and love the little girl had felt in her grandmother's arms and how happy she was now. The Little Mermaid The Sea King lived under the sea. His palace was made of shells and sparkling stones. His mother and six daughters also lived with him. All his daughters were beautiful, but his youngest daughter was the most beautiful. She was not like the others. Her sisters liked to play. But she liked to listen to stories. Indeed, her grandmother said, You will be able to see the world when you are 15 years old.
when she was 15 years old, her grandmother decorated her hair. Then, she ordered eight oysters to attach themselves to her tail. They started swimming up to the surface of the sea. As they reached the surface, the little mermaid saw a large ship in which sailors were singing and dancing. In the evening, there was a celebration on the ship because of the 16th birthday of the prince. The little mermaid was fascinated by the prince. 